welcome to Dancing Spirit Ranch near Whitefish, Montana. This is a ranch with about 350 acres. It's got accommodations for 24 people. It's got ponds, five miles of hiking trails, and it's just simply stunning. Now, this is not the kind of ranch where you're gonna come ride horses or rope a cow. It's a place that you come to feel positive energy and relax and then explore the surrounding area. In fact, it's only about 23 miles from the western entrance of Glacier National Park. So it's an easy way to come stay here and go explore the park. It's also close to Whitefish, which is the most charming town with restaurants and lots of shopping. So this adorable cottage, this little white house where we're staying, has a bedroom, a sitting area, and a small kitchenette. And this front porch is just perfect for sitting outside, drinking coffee, having wine, with the most amazing view of the mountains you can possibly imagine. So now we're gonna meet Tyler Gardner. And Tyler, along with his wife, Robin, and mother-in-law, Catherine, own this property. His father-in-law actually developed it. They moved here 30 years ago when Robin grew up on this property. So Tyler's gonna show us all around the ranch. My name's Tyler Gardner. We're here at Dancing Spirit Ranch. Our little Western feel of our barn, our bunkhouse, and our schoolhouse, which is built after a Western village. Yes, and your school marm's cottage. And then out overlooking our fields with a little bit of sunshine. We got our ponds that are recirculating water and all types of stone structures to go explore. Well, we're standing in front of our 18, late 1800s original barn that we brought back together and restored. This is now our main kitchen, dining, and communal space. But this was left over from the original state lumber mill back late teen, 1800s and early 1900s. This is our bunkhouse. It's built after our original horse stable and it's all reclaimed wood and the back of each bedroom has one of the original stable walls still holding it together and this is where our guests stay with us. A little lounge area, relax, read your book, sip on some tea and coffee. Uh, we do have one treatment room in this building. Right now we got it just set up as a little lounge but this is our massage acupuncture room so if you're here with a group booking we line out all of your specialty treatments. A little glance of our bedrooms. We have different style bedrooms. There's four bedrooms with twin beds. There's three bedrooms with queen beds. It's a nice little hangout. So if you're in the overflow group or you rent this one out on your own, a lot of times we'll rent out groups in the village. And if the group's not large enough to take over this whole place, then we rent this one out individually and these people can be self-sufficient on their own meals. This is our secret garden. It's our floral garden out here on the property. A lot of kind of ceremonies, gatherings. Meditation, hangout spot. It's still early May, so it's all, or mid-May, so it's all waking up. Uh, next week, we'll actually start planting our annual flowers and get this thing pretty done. Welcome to the garden at Dancing Spirit Ranch. This is still a little bit under construction, but you can see the beds are made out of guardrails, which was a creative idea to be able to still farm organically, but have something that would hold up under the weather. And now we're gonna meet Ananda, and she is the kitchen wizard here at Dancing Spirit Ranch. So come on over, let's meet oh, her. I love that you called me a wizard. <laughs> and this is Ananda. And she does magic in the kitchen. And Nanda, tell us, what are you cooking and what are you doing This is a rainbow chard, and chard is one of my favorite things to put in lentil soup. And I'm picking kale. Hershey Beanie's getting close to harvest time. So Gordon, the stone structures are amazing. Will you tell us a little bit about the background, why are why they're here, how many there are, and what they mean to you? I guess I became enamored with stone sculptures and structures when uh, I met my wife. After her, she had a conference in Wales, and then we ended up in Ireland, and we ended up in Scotland, and we've had kind of, uh, I guess, four or five trips over there, 
and most of our time over there was spent uh, kind of looking at the ancient sites. So dating back, I guess, predating the Druids. And uh, there was just such a powerful kind of energy about them that when we started on this project, that was always gonna be a component. We didn't know exactly how or in what form it would take, but we knew we were gonna have a lot of standing stones and then stone structures. Well, there's probably over half a dozen of them out there. Um, the main one is the tower, but we built it with a door that you have to stoop down to get in and it faces the sunrise on winter solstice, so it actually works. We had to guess because of when the sun would come up over the, over the mountains, but now on the only two times we've had sun on winter solstice, uh, the sun is shining right on the back wall of the tower, so that was pretty cool. Hi, I'm Robin, one of the co-founders of Dancing Spirit Ranch. I'm lucky enough to have called this place home for 30 years. I grew up on this property. My parents still live here and it's a pretty special place. When we get wrapped up in the hustle and bustle of our everyday lives, anytime I come onto this property, it just feels like a giant exhale and a softening of the shoulders and very relaxing and that exact sensation is kind of what I wanted to set out and share by opening Dancing Spirit Ranch and we do just that. It's pretty amazing to watch our guests come here and sometimes be kind of wired and tight strung when they show up and within a couple of days they've lost their cell phones, leave it in their room and just are blissed out, relaxed and are just really able to enjoy the small things from sitting with the sun on their face to watching the sunrise, enjoying a cup of coffee, and kind of reconnecting with themselves and nature and just allowing to slow down and it's pretty special to witness. And when we opened up, we weren't quite sure who our clientele would be, but we kind of set our intention that whoever needs to come will come. And that's pretty much what has happened. Word of mouth has spread and we've had amazing people from all over the world come visit and enjoy this place and start to become a part of our family. And as a family run business, everyone that shows up just says they feel like we're long lost cousins and it's a huge compliment and our family is expanding around the world now and it's such a joy to meet all these people and to watch them enjoy and fall in love with the place that we call home and is our favorite place in the entire world. Come, whoever you are, wanderer, worshiper, lover of leaving, come, come, whoever you are. This isn't a caravan of despair. It doesn't matter if you've broken your vows a thousand times before and yet again, come, come.